Hi there. In this episode, we're going to look at closing our opportunity as one using Power Automate. Now, I originally planned to use the Common Data Service Current Environment Connector with the Call Action command, but things didn't quite go according to plan, and I had a bit of a mixed experience with that connector, and in particular that action. And what I would deem that to be is a nuisance factor. Now in skydiving, a nuisance factor is when you deploy your parachute, you look up and there's something not quite right. Maybe you've got some line twists, maybe your parachute isn't fully inflated, but you can usually work them out, they're not uncommon. However, the more time you spend trying to work them out and work around them, the more likely they are to develop into a malfunction. And a malfunction contains massive risks. And that's exactly what happened in doing this part of the build for me. I'd spent far too long trying to work around these nuisance factors that it started turning into a malfunction. But just like my skydiving equipment, the power platform is a very well engineered piece of kit. And there's always an option to cut your losses, i.e. cut it away and pull your reserve. And that's exactly what I'd done in this part of the build. Instead of using the common data service current environment connector, which I wasn't given much luck with, I used the HTTP request with the Azure AD connector and landed safely on my feet. Now that's not to say that I won't go back and do another episode where I do actually use the common data service current environment connector with the perform action step. Until then, this is the solution I'm going to use. In order to add the flow, which will close our opportunity as one, we click flow from the actions tab. The template we are going to use is the power apps button. First, we'll update our opportunity with the actual revenue using the update record action from the CDS connector. For both the record identifier and the actual revenue, we click Ask in Power Apps. And for our next step, we use HTTP with Azure AD and choose Invoke an HTTP request. First time you do this, you'll be asked to sign in with the base resource URL and Azure AD resource URI. Now because we're connected to CDS, this is the base URL of your CDS environment. Unfortunately, you don't get the opportunity to add dynamic content here, so this URL is hard-coded. And then you'll be prompted to sign in using your credentials. For this example, I'm actually going to use my own credentials, but ideally you'd want to set up an application user. The information required to call the action is available in the Microsoft documentation. As we can dynamically populate the URI of the request, I find that initializing a variable to hold the base URL works better. and we can just copy each header one by one from the documentation. Once we paste the body of the request, 
we can go back in and replace the dynamic content. to our canvas app and we ensure the control selected that we want to call the flow on and click the flow. So that adds the flow to our on select property of our button and all we need to do then is populate the parameters used in the flow where we've selected asking power apps. So in this case we'll put the selected opportunity we're going to look up our, EO, our EOM configs entity and we're looking for the base URL and we've done that in previous episodes And then the actual revenue value comes in the middle. And just to remind you, that's where the base URL comes from. It's a config entity, or well, ERM configs, which resides in our CDS environment. And that really just saves us hard coding it into our canvas app. Let's just test it by clicking confirm win. If we look at our opportunity and refresh the page. We can see now that the opportunity is one. Go to our view of closed opportunities, the actual revenue has been populated and if we look back at our flow we can see that flow has successfully run. So as I said at the start things didn't quite go according to plan. I had to use the Power Automate HTTP with a Azure AD connector instead of the CDS current environment connector. But in learning how to use those connectors I probably learned a more valuable lesson. Join me in my next episode where I'll explain another nuisance factor that I experienced and how to work and I actually worked around that one and didn't have to pull my reserve.